Well, we know EVs will be in the spotlight at the Denver Auto Show, which starts today. Denver 7's Allie Jenner. John is at the Colorado Convention Center where it all kicks off today. And you'll be able to check out everything from the new cars and trucks to just really unique models uh, there, Allie. Yeah, Nicole, Brian, good morning. Over 20 exhibits to check out from Ford, Chevy, Toyota. And look at this bad boy. Okay, they dared me to get into it. I am not even going to try to attempt it, but these are just some of the trucks that you'll be able to see when you're here today. And it's more than just looking. You can get inside them. You can even test drive about 15 of them. And you can even go around the EV indoor test track as well. It's 300,000 square feet of space and the executive director of the Colorado Automobile Dealers Association says you'll have the chance to compare 18 manufacturers side by side. I asked him what his favorite car here is. He says he can't possibly choose. I think what's great is just year over year seeing the advances in technology and safety and efficiency. Uh, new cars today just burn cleaner and are safer than even things you bought when I bought mine in 2018, five years ago. So it is a whole new uh, generation of vehicles and I think people are gonna be very happy with what they see. And they're kicking off the show today with a meet and greet from NFL Hall of Famer Bronco Randy Gratishar. And I know today is a work day. Maybe your kids have after school activities or you just want to go home and sleep. So if you can't make it out today, don't worry. This is running all weekend long. Doors close will doors will close at 6 p.m. on Sunday. Wow, you need like a pole vault to get in that. <laughs> yeah, you do. Trampoline yeah. or something. Yeah. We, we need that for our severe weather days, I think. Oh, sure something I like yeah. that. Yeah, I think 